What up everyone, Dakota23 here, how's it all going? So today in this video, I'm just going to give you a world tour of my uh, Satisfactory World. Uh, sorry about my hands being in the way, my in-game hands. Um, I'm using a flying mod because it's the camera mod I have, I couldn't figure it out. So <clears throat> this is my main area, the hub, you know. <laughs> just you got everything spread out all over the place. Um, still got bio fuel burners chilling even though I've got nuclear power going um, nothing crazy like what Josh has and let's game it out but this is still pretty crazy um, my buddy Neil he would probably have an aneurysm seeing this he doesn't like this he likes it is more organized but you can see spaghetti everywhere I've got conveyor belts just going from one side of my factory here to the other side just to create some just to create some stuff um i'll show you how long these chains the last two and i've got a couple of uh, coal burners there too so i'm pumping water like halfway across the map just to get those going but um over here i've got stuff for nuclear power that's probably one of my longer supply chains uh, sorry about the super speed there controls on this are kind of finicky it's, it's just crazy where everything's going, everything's coming from. And space elevator just chilling there. You can see conveyor belts going all over the place. Got more coal burners right there. And I'm pumping coal in from a different area to get to them. Um, because who needs things to be all in one area when you can just run these ridiculous supply chains and just have things going all over um, again down here i got stuff running to where my nuclear power plant is i got stuff running to where my uh water areas where i pump water all around and it took me a long long time to build these two you see down here it's its own little factory area too this is my second site i got five more coal generators burning down here I've got steel production I've got iron I've got quartz I've got concrete sulfur coal I've got everything down there for basic needs <laughs> and you see everything's just running all over the place so as we follow these um, the sulfuric acid line and these uh, encased steel lines we're going to hit where my nuclear power plant is and it's just you know, just one of the longest supply chains I have in this game and it's just crazy this also took forever to build and I actually just started uh, nuclear power uh, last week you can see in the cave is where the uranium is everything gets processed in there comes out into the power plant and then all the waste goes into all those containers here. Now we're going to my um, uh, oil production area, which is like my first area, except condensed into a tighter, smaller space. You just gotta follow the power lines. Um, here's just a random Sam ore place and uh, no use for s the uh, Sam or yet hopefully that get hopefully that comes out in update 4 which is hopefully coming out soon and here we go you see here again I've got all your basics and then some so we got uh, plastic rubber silicone uh, the aluminum all just compact in this nice tiny area and then I've got six more <laughs> coal generators here as well. And then we come over here where I've got four fuel generators running. <laughs> I've got some plastic, some fuel, some rubber being traded over here. Um, some petroleum coal and that one up in the uh, right side. And then as we come over here, this is where I make all the aluminum plating and everything. Um, I'm going to have sulfur start running down uh, 
this ramp here so I can start making batteries um, back on the other half of that oil production area that is all for right now <coughs> I just haven't gotten around to completing that crazy supply line um, <laughs> and then here's the uh, crazy bridge that I built and I'm actually gonna have quartz running over this and that's going to be help me get silica so I can create more of the um, more of the uh, panels so I can upgrade everything to the uh, mark 5 conveyor belts and that's going to take me a little I think to take me a good minute to do but it's all going to be worth it and then I'm still going to have some uh, smaller projects as well to work on I might do some I might just copy this save file and do a challenge project since I have everything already unlocked and everything but yeah this is my satisfactory world it's all the craziness going on nothing on Josh's level but it is pretty intense like just where the rotors have to go from literally one side of my factory all the way to the other side <clears throat> just so many hours um, I think I have like 180 hours in this world so many times where I just throw it on go to work come back and just hopefully have stuff done but hope you all enjoy the video uh, hit that like button leave a comment go ahead and subscribe Dakota 23 out